Pastor Lunatic Dad. It is happy Juneteenth Day. Now, I just want to go ahead and have a little bit of conversation with you. Hopefully that, you know, Mama's eating everything. She doesn't want to go ahead and talk or whatever. But she's got a lot of great, great thoughts in her head and everything else. But first of all, I just want to say happy Juneteenth Day to all the African American people. And also remember that there is also a celebration throughout for many authenticities throughout America, throughout the whole year. So let's get into this. The happy Juneteenth, there are certain things, you know, everybody knows dad's not a racist person. He's not, he's not about any of that garbage. But I do want to say, if you're going to have happy Juneteenth day and, and it's a celebration of the emancipation of the slaves and everything else, I would like to ask a very serious question. You know how everybody is tearing down all the, all the monuments, all the things of people that would used to be uh, slave owners and everything else. I always say, in order to learn from your past, you can't wipe out the past, okay? In order to learn and know about your heritage, you got to know where you came from. The youth of today, of the African American people and everything else, when they start being born and everything, the new ones, I'm talking about brand new babies now on up. They're not going to know anything of their past. You're wiping it out. You're completely wiping out what the struggles and everything else that you have been through. And you're still going through. But I say that they should not be taking down any statues. They shouldn't be taking down anything so that you can learn from your past. But it's kind of like with when you're raising a child. You go ahead and discipline them when they're coming up and doing stupid shit and everything else. But then... But if you don't do that, they have nothing to learn on. No bedrock, no foundation of understanding that you have to know where you come from. I mean, like I said, you've got Juneteenth Day, which is a national holiday now. You've got Cinco de Mayo and everything else. But I would also like to say that it is also that for us Caucasian people and everything else, we don't have a day, okay? Last time I checked, is that we are all Americans. We are all Americans, not just one certain race. You can go ahead and celebrate, celebrate Juneteenth Day. I'm all aboard for it. As everybody knows, Lunatic Dad has a mix in his family, okay? I have beautiful, 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 I'm telling you, my great nephews and nieces. They are such gorgeous, beautiful people and everything else. I won't say their names or anything out of respect to my niece and everything else due to the fact that she doesn't want, she's not into the YouTube thing and everything, so it's out of respect. But I am a multi-racial family in, in my world. Also, I wanted to say, you know, people have to understand that when you get into races and holidays and everything else, I seen it was in my hometown just yesterday, there was a massive, massive shooting and nothing but chaos broke out. It's all over the news and everything else. And that is not tolerable, okay? Just because a certain race is having the, their heritage day or, or their month or whatever the hell you want to call this shit, people should respect it, okay? And what's happening in society right now is that people are lost the term of respect and everything for each other. Just to have common... Decency. I mean, it can come to many different levels, not just races. It can come to religion. It can come to uh, bars like your sexuality and everything else. I mean, like in dad's case, uh, it's funny because me and my older son, Michael, we had a conversation. You know, it's not that we are against anything or whatever the case may be for our sexuality or whatever the case may be. But if I don't want it pushed on me, it shouldn't be pushed on me neither. You got to also respect the other opinion. You just can't ram shit down people's throats and just say, you got to accept it because this is what I am or whatever the case may be. I myself, I am accepting of all races, nationalities, sexual creed and everything else. But just because lunatic dad may be acceptable of everything doesn't mean that society is. Society right now has gone to shit. It truly has. I mean, the things that I have seen go on in society now, it, it blows my mind. I know this shit didn't happen back in my day, okay? Yes, you had racism back in my day and everything else, but but I really believe racism also has gotten a lot better over time. It has. 
I mean, yeah, you got your small pockets and a lot of social medias and the news and everything else will have a tendency to go ahead and put that more out there, okay? That is, to me, a political agenda, okay? Because I have been around many, many, many great, I've got great friends that are African-American and everything else, okay? Many, many, many. And I have nothing but respect for them. I, I don't look at their skin color. I look at them as how they treat people, how they treat me, how we interact, how they are in society and everything else. That's where we, the only way you're going to beat racism and everything else is by being accepting of other people's views. But don't ram it down somebody's fucking throat. And I can honestly tell you myself, mama, as everybody knows, was not born in this country. Okay, she was not, but she's had many, many videos on this and everything. And sometimes the way she was treated is the way, the same way the African-American people were treated way back in the day. Way still back is. in the day. Still is. And it still is. Soon as they see my name, that they cannot pronounce it, automatically I'm marked for life. And that is wrong. And it's just like a lot of people, I shouldn't say a lot of people, when it comes to racism, I really believe that America has come a long ways. I really believe that. We had our first African-American president, Barack Obama, and everybody knows dad supported Barack Obama to the high end. And nothing but respect for that man and everything else. He had to go through a lot to get there and everything else. But, you know, I also think that when people go ahead and start putting a judgment upon a race and everything else, then you are a racist in my eyes. In my eyes, you are a racist. If you're going to go ahead and put judgment upon somebody's skin color, and everything else. It's wrong. It's dead wrong. Dad I was told at the, when I was doing oil change by an older gentleman, because mm -hmm. he recognized my accent that mm -hmm. everybody knows, and I don't give a what that says. Mm -hmm. And he asked me, oh, what is the accent from? I'm like, because I'm from Poland. Well, you people shouldn't be here. All these foreigners invaded our country. I was told that at this age, at this life. Well, and again, that individual who stated that to you is, to me, a racist. And then, remember, people, racism doesn't have to be because of your skin color. And that's another thing that people fail to realize. No one ever talks about this type of shit on YouTube. Not like Lunatic Dad and the fan. No one. Because I combat racism to the high hell. And I think, you know... Racism could be skin color, but racism can also be religion. Racism can also be because you come from another country and everything else. But don't ask people. Because of your sexual orientation. Or your sexual orientation. Exactly. Yeah. Or your gender, just because you're a woman, and you're you below a man. The ability of how much money could you be. have, you being categorized. Yeah. Or you're not good enough because you don't make certain amount. Or you mm -hmm. don't have this, or you don't have that. What's it to you? Are you feeding yeah. my ass? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And, and it, you said about... With, with the women and everything else. I mean, it's not too long ago that you guys finally got the right to vote, okay, first off. Exactly. And, like 1920 or something like that. And women were degraded, were degraded, that they just felt that they go and be have babies, stay at home, don't do anything, and everything you else. Go. You do as your husband says and yeah. you shut up. Basically. That, to me, is another form of racism. And your racism against the spouse in which you married, in my eyes. Racism has more to do not just with color and everything else, but that is the predominant thing that is out there. You know, I have been, like I said, I have been in some bad neighborhoods being a truck driver or whatever the case may be, and I can go into a, a black neighborhood or whatever, and they see a, a, a bald old white guy, they automatically think, hey, you better watch out for him, he's a racist or whatever, just because of the way I look. Okay, mm -hmm. so remember, racism is not just against black people, Hispanic people, orientation it's people, everybody. Jewish people, and yes, Caucasian guys like me that were born here in the United States that get a bad fucking rap. I get a bad rap just because somebody looks at me and they're like, oh, he's got to be racist. I say fuck racism and everything else. And I want to say this, from the day I was born in 1959 till now, Racism has gotten better. I will say that. But the social medias will not allow, will not allow that to happen. You know why? Because there's money in racism. It's all about the money. Okay? People are scared of 
Yes, they should be afraid of COVID and any kind of sickness. But the pandemic of it is, is that freaking stupid TV that everybody tells you what to do and not to do. Or the phone. That's the pandemic. I agree 100%. Because, again, the social medias and news and everything else, it's all about the money. More clicks, more watch, more money. And, hey, why would we want to go ahead and say anything positive in the world? Why wouldn't we want to promote any type of goodness in the world? Why? It don't sell. It don't sell. Look at everything out there. Everything, your, your your shows and everything else. You got drama, 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 drama. Hell, Lunatic Dad is fucking drama, right? And it's all about the all-American dollar. How can we make the money off of drama? It sells. It sells. Everybody with a brain knows it. I mean, whenever you see, you know, like say uh, someone won the NBA championship, Denver Nuggets just recently. Yeah, they made a lot of money and everything else. You know what the coverage was when the people, they had a big ass riot and everything else? It deflected from what they accomplished to what the news everything else put out there was all the violence and the breaking of cars and people getting shot and everything else. Yeah. So, you see what I'm saying? I mean, it, it's that people have to understand that in America, you're not all going to get along. You're going to have different views, difference of opinions and everything else. But in the long run, in the long run, I do see it getting better. And again, I do celebrate myself Juneteenth Day. I think it is uh, it is great and everything else. Mm -hmm. As far as eman it's emancipation, it's a part of history. Yeah. But to all the people that are African Americans, just remember what Lunatic Dad is saying. Don't forget where you came from. By eliminating the statues and everything else throughout the United States and everything of leaders and everything that were white. And yes, they owned slaves. And yes, they were racist back then. They were wrong. You can't teach your future generations of where you came from if you wipe out the history of where you came from. Yet that to me, I will stand by that a hundred million times. Don't forget where you come from because... Make in a order, change, be a change. Yep, make a change to be a change. You are 100% right, Mom. You are 100% right. And again, it is a celebration, but don't forget where in the hell you came from, okay? Remember, African Americans were never asked to come to this country. They were forced by the white man, me, people my skin color, and everything else. But if you live in that past and you stay in that past, not saying you can't learn from the past and know where you came from, but don't go ahead and let the past be your future because all races can get along. We all can go ahead and thrive in the greatest fucking country in the United States of America. This is the greatest country, and I don't give a shit what country you live in. We got our problems, we got our issues, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we are all Americans. And I can honestly tell all my brothers and sisters of many different no, nationalities and races. True. That's not true. What do you mean it ain't true? On the Cinco de Mayo, everybody's in a Mexican. So no, we're not all Americans on that day. No, because they got that certain day that is good. <laughs> you know what I Making mean. You're, joke. you're trying to be smart ass right now. No, I am laughing. I am <laughs> laughing. Okay, okay. I get what you're saying. But <laughs> On St. Patrick's Day, everybody's Irish. You're right. You're right. But You're right. <laughs> but anyway, what I'm trying to say is that don't forget where you came from. White, black, Hispanic, Asian, Jewish, I don't care what you are, German, Russian, whatever the hell. Don't forget where the hell you came from when you're in, in this country and everything else. Never forget your heritage because everybody's heritage is important. Everybody's heritage is important. That's why we, it's called history. And may God bless America. And guys, thank you for kicking back with Lunatic Dad, Lunatic Mom, and Amber, my beautiful daughter, doing a little camera and giving a little bit of words of wisdom and everything else. Guys, I will see you on the next video. Like I said, happy Juneteenth Day. Peace.